Hey, what's up guys? So you have a Samsung Smart TV. I'm going to show you how you can add or basically download and install apps. Okay, so very, very simple. So first thing is that your remote should look something like this here. What I want you to do is go ahead and tap on the home button here. Okay, so tap on the home button. Tap it again until you get this down here on the very bottom. Okay, and what you want to do is you can see that little TV thing is highlighted. If I move to the right, then Samsung TV Plus is highlighted. What you want to do is you want to move to the left. So we're going to go to the left where the three horizontal lines are right there. Now we're on apps, okay? Go ahead and click on the enter button on the remote. And then from here, what you can do is you can do a search on the top right hand side. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna move all the way up. It says sign in right now. We're gonna move over right one more to the magnifying glass. So we're gonna go ahead and search for an app. So I'm gonna click on enter on the remote. And what I wanna do is I wanna add Sling. Okay, the Sling app, so let's go to let me do a search for this, S-L-I, okay, so Sling TV is right there. So now let me go ahead and just slide up right here. I'm gonna highlight it, I'm gonna click on the enter button on the remote. It says install right there, let's go ahead and install this. And you will need to sign in to your Samsung account to do this, okay? So let me go into sign in here. So go ahead and sign in. If you don't have a um, an account, then you're gonna to have to create one right here. I actually have to create one, so let me go ahead and just continue. I'm gonna create one right now, so I'm able to download the uh, Sling TV. I'm gonna go down to Agree here, click on Enter. Now I just put it. Need to put a the ID needs to be email address, and then I have to make a password for the TV itself, and then my date of birth as well. Okay. Okay, I inputted my information. Let me go ahead and click on enter to go to next. Now it's asking me for my first and last name here. Okay, so after you put your uh, name in, now it's uh, a little pop-up box. I agree to receive special offers. Uh, no, thank you. I always uncheck those. I don't want a bunch of spam in my mail. Just slide down to go to next and then click on enter on their remote. Okay, account is created. Let me just click on enter to click on done right there. And now, it just automatically downloaded Sling, okay? Now, another thing after you download, it says open right there. What you want to do too is you want to add it to the home, okay? So if I move over here, add it to my home right there, okay? Now, if you go ahead and click on the home button on the remote, let's click it a couple times here. Oops. Here it is right here. So down here at the very bottom. Now, if I slide down, we should see Sling right there. Okay, so pretty simple to do. And just a quick FYI, if you wanted to go ahead and delete any of these apps or uninstall it, just go to the app, like go to Sling, and then go ahead and press on the down button on the remote. And then you get an option right here. You can move or you can go ahead and uh, remove it or you can move it. And moving it basically is, if I just click on move, I can basically move it over, okay? I can move it like if I wanted to be like on the near the first right here. So now every time I go ahead and click on my home button. Oops, I did it wrong. Let me do it again. So let's go down to move. Then you have to, I'll move it all the way down, all the way to the left. Now I got to press, I forgot to press on enter before. So I'll press on enter now. Every time I click on the home button, you see sling right there on the first one. So pretty simple to do. Any questions or issues, comment below.